Hello everyone, welcome. This is Sun and Moon Energy. I go by the name of Sylvie when I'm here with y'all reading energy and I'm gonna get right into a reading for Gemini. This reading is for Gemini but really all are welcome here. If something speaks to you, you're more than welcome to it um, including cross watchers, um, other uh, astrological signs, whatever. You're all welcome here. Just please be kind in the comments is all I ask. Um, so that being said, I've done a pre-shuffle of the three decks and meditated on the energy for Gemini and wasn't really meditating on any one thing like their money. It was just kind of focusing on midweek energy, hump day, uh, Wednesday, uh, midweek energy check-in here. And it looks like with the Page of Cups here, the Page of Wands here, and the Six of Cups here, somebody could be coming back from your past, Gemini, because this has basically been in every reading for you um, the past week. And with this energy of somebody from your past coming back in. And I kid you not, we have um, a Nine of Swords underneath here, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords underneath here with the Seven of Wands, and the Three of Wands with the Seven of Cups here. So Gemini, we have 777 seven, seven underneath here. Um, we also have this energy, I feel like, of somebody who feels like um, perhaps they uh, missed an opportunity here and they need to come back in. And that's exactly the energy I was picking up on the other day. So, and that led to this Emperor energy, Emperor and Empress energy. So I feel like this person um, is a very powerful person, has a lot of wealth. Um, and I was getting this energy, perhaps maybe this person is very attached to their work. And that may be why there was some, I don't know, just something didn't work out in the past. Or maybe there just wasn't, a connection couldn't happen, whether this is business related or pleasure, romance related. We shall see. Uh, more about the Six of Cups energy for Gemini. The Six of Cups energy for Gemini. This could just be something, this could be a happy reunion. Something about your child, you know, something attached to your past. A message coming in. Um, Four of Pentacles. Very interesting, because that has been also coming out for you lately too, with the Strength card. More about this energy. Four of Wands. Wow, Gemini. This is like the same where somebody I feel like was closed off initially has now changed their mind and they're completely open. More about this energy to of wands. So we have a lot of fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. To start off, this is action. This is um, definitely coming in with something, some type of opportunity here. Five of Swords. Again, same cards. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like somebody, uh, maybe there's a, maybe a little bit of feeling like somebody, uh, there's self-sabotage energy here. Eight of Wands and the um, Nine of Pentacles tells me, yeah, somebody's, I feel like there is a definite message coming in for you, Gemini. This could also be you, roles can be reversed, right? Wanting to reach out to somebody, not really being able to take it anymore, wanting to reach out to somebody from your past, maybe somebody that, you know, uh, gave you an opportunity and you declined and now you regret it. Devil at the bottom of the deck, well, <laughs> devil and regret go hand in hand, right? Page of Cups with that Nine of Swords, Temperance card, the Magician, I really think with the Queen of Cups, somebody, whether that be you or somebody else, is manifesting um, a new opportunity, another opportunity here. I do feel like this is another opportunity in some way, shape, or form here. With the Nine of Pentacles, it really makes me think of somebody who, um, you know, this is almost like a like an Empress card to me. This is being. <clears throat> 100% um, self-reliant, self-sufficient, really uh, wealthy, maybe even powerful, well-respected, um, very kind, very nurturing, very loving, though, at the same time. But you also don't want to get on their bad side. 
but that's that kind of energy right that I think we all sort of want to embody right and at some point right and I think that's coming in here it's like whether or not you're making it happen um, or there's an opportunity coming in that's helping you um, yeah, with the Three of Wands and the Seven of Cups, I do get this, like, again, this this dreamy energy here of somebody or someone really wanting this. I feel like you want this, Gemini. I feel like whatever this connection is with this person, you want this. More about this Four of Pentacles energy. More about this Four of Pentacles yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This is, I feel like somebody was just very focused on their work. Somebody, I have said this before, it's like maybe they were had to go overseas, they had to travel, whether it be maybe they were in the military, um, they were in university, uh, some type of trade school, um, internship. Maybe they're an artist and they were doing um, some type of artist uh, residency retreat. Whatever it may be, I feel like I do get this energy of somebody also needing to do spiritual work. Somebody needing to kind of level up a little bit. Again, we don't want somebody coming towards us with an opportunity um, or an offer that is going to be subpar, right? Or that they can't really live up to or that's, you know, just not for us, right? Um, no matter how much maybe we might like the person or the opportunity, but there has to be backup to it, right, of all the things that um, are necessary to make a partnership work. And I am getting a partnership energy here with that four of wands and the two of wands. Even though there's this sort of narrowing down there, I do feel like there's still yet, yeah, yeah. And I say that, and look, the lovers is at the bottom of the deck with the three of pentacles and the hair font. Holy crap, Gemini. This is like somebody who wants to build... Yeah, this is somebody, a good look, another Six of Cups with the Death card. Queen of Pentacles, oh my gosh, and the King of Pentacles, Gemini. <gasps> this is so, like, I don't mean to be so dramatic, but, like, this is, like, somebody who's very serious. This is marriage. This is, if, if not, like, in the traditional sense, you know, this could be just a very powerful partnership, business partnership, relationship, I... I am getting, um, there's a lot of pentacles here. There's a lot of wealth. With the lover's card showing up here, there could be some romance, right? And that four of wands. But I do feel like somebody um, had to, um, I'm, I'm almost hearing, had to go away for a while. Wow. What? That's so crazy. So the page of pentacles and that hair font now flipped out in reverse on that six of cups. I'm going to leave you right there. This is some type of message, some type of... This is actually, I guess, technically the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is... I feel like this person was just so focused on their, their creative business wealth, whatever that means for them. And this could go a whole lot of different ways. And I think with that hair font flipping out in reverse, to me, that just says that, like, they just, in, in the past, here, like, it flew out on that Six of Cups, right? They weren't ready. They were not ready for something. This is almost giving me, they were too young. They were too immature. I was getting that energy in the pre-shuffle of somebody who just, two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, just wasn't ready. More about this. Uh, more about <laughs> more about this four of wands energy. I can't even talk. You know, I have like a speech. I don't know. I've always had it since like I was a kid. I guess that's why I got made fun of a lot because I just like talk funny. I can't I have trouble pronouncing things, and I also don't know how to spell properly. <laughs> I'm a, but I have a master's degree in psychology. I am quite intelligent. Um, the full card, <laughs> and so, and there we have. <laughs> The fool card uh, coming out here. Yeah, that's our energy, right? It's air energy. I think some people say this is also like Aries energy. Again, whatever it may be, it's it's taking, it's a new opportunity. It's taking a leap of faith. It's feeling, 
renewed here, new beginning, feeling uh, lucky, feeling like we can um, make it on our own. I mean, this came out for you the other day in this deck, and it's just, it's, it's this young, vibrant energy. It's like something has changed. It's, it's a new, it's a new, it's another chance, right? Look, Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Justice card. I feel like somebody had to walk towards, they had to walk away from this because they were either in school or there was some type of training. Whatever it may be, they were, again, focused on their coin. That could be also you. Roles can be reversed, right? Queen of Wands uh, <clears throat> flipped out. More about this Two of Wands energy. More about this Two of Wands energy. More about... Too many cards. More about this Two of Wands. Just a lot of fire energy here. It's action. Yeah. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Just going right towards um, a total abundance here. Making sure all, you, all your bases are covered as far as um, what's your um what's most important to you in life here right on your journey on this path with that queen of wands coming out on that full card i'm almost just getting it's like again it's this creative energy it's it's very action oriented um so you this could also be just a business partnership it doesn't have to be romantic, and I said that before. This could just be somebody coming in with some type of opportunity. Too many cards. More about that Five of Swords energy. The Five of Swords. Wow, Five of Pentacles, Gemini. What with the Ten of Wands? And I was just going to say, well, Five and Five is Ten, and Tens are, you know, the end, and there's a new beginning, right? And we have a new beginning here with that Fool card. I think it's somebody realized that they self-sabotaged the situation. They did something, they made a, a wrong move, and um, they regretted it, you know? And maybe um, somebody here took a path away, like there was a separation here even at some point. But nonetheless, there's something coming in here with this eight of wands, some type of communication, some type of message, some type of action moon card. Well, that's interesting. Three of wands at the bottom of the deck. Almost came out halfway. More about that moon card energy. Too many cards. Page of Cups actually wanted to flip over. And that was in the opening, right, as um, at the bottom of the deck there. And I said, I feel like somebody's coming towards you, like, with a message, with a proposal. Um, I feel like this is, it's, it's again, it's out of the blue. I think you don't expect to hear from this person. I think that you thought that this person was, you maybe even have gone off and done your own thing and here, this could even represent that, you know? There's like two different um, energies here, one going one way and one going the other, right? Both focus what you thought was your nine of cups, but maybe it ended up not being that and somebody's like, whoop, I made a mistake, right? Um, I don't usually read like this, but this has been the energy, and I've noticed with other readers, this is, this is the energy in the air right now, and I think with all these retrogrades happening with different planets, it's like Saturn, and then Leo, and then Mercury, which is our ruling planet, I think there's, there's a lot of stop and go energy, it's like, I almost feel like people get up the courage to do something, <clears throat> pardon me get up the courage to do something and then all of a sudden they're like they they lose the courage to do it you know and they and they back off you know and it's that hot and cold that stop and go energy right that can be really frustrating when we're dealing with somebody whether that be in business in romance family friendships whatever it may be even just going to the friggin supermarket you know somebody you think somebody's in line and they're oh wait a minute I don't know can you just hold on I gotta get ready you know and then they come back and they're oh, oh I'm sorry just want you know it's like Right? Look, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Wands. Wow, Gemini. And the Ace of Swords? Holy and the Six of Cups. Gemini, holy crap. 
I almost get the energy here with that Queen of Swords showing up there that like maybe so and just that energy I was picking up on what I was just describing. It's like maybe somebody was even intimidated by you and not that they really needed to be because I do feel like with that King of Pentacles showing up, although maybe maybe a, a little ways back here, like I said, if you're on two different paths, maybe you were focused more on family and your creative path and like maybe or maybe traveling and then this other person was just focused on career and that did come out the other day where it seemed like somebody was more focused on you know so if like your big head of some big corporation CEO or whatever you know your time is is really eaten up <laughs> it doesn't leave a lot of time for uh, romance family uh, friends all that other stuff more about this Nine of Swords energy for that Nine of Pentacles. I don't even know if I asked for that now. I can't remember because I'm kind of talking a lot. Um, so I don't even know why that Nine of Swords came out. But it wanted to because it kept being, wow, wow, wow. Okay, no need to be so <laughs> flippy. <laughs> so the Four of Cups came out in reverse on here. And I just, again, it's giving me that energy of somebody who's one minute like almost like ignoring you and then the next minute is like love bombing you right and then the next minute is like backing off and you know or not answering your messages right here we have the eight of we have the eight of swords on this um pentacle pile i will call it if you will which is somebody who's this is the slowest moving energy in the deck here with that knight of pentacles I also get an energy of a page of pentacles here. It's just somebody who's like, just younger, focused on their their school, whatever, and just closed and a very closed off energy. It's a very closed off energy here, right? With these cards coming out like this, I don't even. Why are these cards coming out in reverse over here? I should actually. I just heard go to the other deck, and when I said that, we have the page of swords there. Just somebody who I feel like, oh, and when I lift it up, look, the Three of Cups. I feel like somebody's watching you. I do feel like with that Nine of Pentacles, we're going to clarify. I do feel like somebody, I'm um, with the other deck here, but I do feel like somebody is feeling, um, having some sleepless nights. Whether that's you or them. Just getting to this Nine of Pentacles energy. Yeah. Three of Swords. More about this this reversed energy here, but I think that Three of Swords explains it. There is definitely somebody hurt somebody. You know, somebody's feelings were hurt in one way or another here. Somebody's feelings were hurt. I feel like there was rejection. I feel like somebody maybe, you know, Queen of Cups, wow, and how that flew it on that Queen of Wands. So and there's a King of Wands now at the bottom of the deck with another Four of Wands and a Tower card. So there could be a third party involved here. And I do get that <clears throat> a little bit here because we have that Four of Wands. And I do feel there's this split of energy of two different people, two different paths. But I am almost getting like this magnetic energy here. There's this pull where you just can't, like you're being drawn together. Can you tell me Gemini's energy towards this person, or is this Gemini's energy, right? The Gemini's energy, whoa, okay, Queen of Wands, really wanting to, the way it came out on this is very interesting. I almost feel like, This is your energy here, Gemini, with the Queen of Wands. So again, I, I'm really getting this energy. Like this is your energy here, and this is this other person's energy. And I feel like they might have been closed off, and there could be a Queen of Cups involved. That Queen of Cups could also just be them um, being, because the way it came out sideways, being sort of emotionally cut off um, from anything, because especially with this hair font and that um, four cups coming out in reverse. So I just feel like, again, it's like they couldn't 
they couldn't commit to, I think, what maybe you wanted. And again, roles can be reversed here. With that Queen of Wands, it's like, I am getting this, um, you know, this is a very fiery, passionate, creative energy. This is somebody who, I almost feel like, yeah, you just like, we're both split. And I almost get like, it was not necessarily a third party energy, but more of just like, look, we have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You, this Queen of Wands energy here might have just gone off in a new direction. You might have gotten married. You might have been just more focused on there might have been a creative opportunity that came in for you, right? And it just pulled you all in two different directions. I'm really getting this energy of being split here, right? Even though there's this Nine of Cups energy on this Two of Wands, right? This is like narrowing down to like a wish fulfillment. But then we have the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. So again, I just, with all this coming out over here, it's like th somewhere along the way there was the separation, right? And there was, um, I feel like now there's a renewed sense of hope here, but can you give us um, another card for that Nine of Pentacles? The Fool, beautiful. We have Double Fool card. This is Air Energy. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Some people say it's Aries energy, but I feel it's air energy. I'm almost getting with that. It's like you are going off and doing your own thing. There is some type of new beginning here. More about this new beginning. So the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. This is interesting. That came out the other day. More about this um, new beginning energy here with this uh, Fool card and that Six of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Let's just get one more card. Appreciate you so much. Yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah, Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> So we have a uh, we have a match here with this King and Queen of Wands, and I do feel that <clears throat> whatever there is this uh, successful partnership here, um, maybe just with that Nine of Swords, somebody was just in their head about, um, I'm almost hearing, uh, taking that leap of faith on this partnership. This could even just be, I could be wrong, this could be just your energy initially, and maybe there are, there, there is still two people involved here, or maybe it's just an opportunity, but I do feel there are two people involved here with this King and Queen of Wands. Uh, heavy with that double queen of wands there being I feel like your energy and I feel like this could be yours too like maybe again you were just really focused on um, getting you know going to school whatever doing whatever you needed to do to focus on your uh, wealth here moving towards your your nine of pentacles and really closed off from anything and I feel like there's this new um, <clears throat> there's this new chance here to take with this uh, king of wands And I like this <clears throat> because this is a very creative energy. And we have another four of wands. So this, this tells me like marriage, stability, um, building a new foundation together, really starting from scratch. Look, we have the star underneath this. That's like really feeling a sense of um, hope and peace and uh, starting, you know, two of pentacles here. I don't know. The ten of wands, we had double tens now, you know, showing up. One card for this um, final outcome of this partnership. I am going to call this a partnership. <clears throat> Sorceress. Beautiful energy, Gemini. Yeah. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You can't make this shit up, Gemini. Holy crap. Wow. Yeah. King of Wands right here. This fire energy. This is action. This is a very... Um, look, we have the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Wands underneath with the Tower card. I almost feel like there's something here um, with this Empress or so Sorceress, uh, I mean, excuse me, High Priestess or Sorceress energy here. That... You kind of always knew that this was going to happen, that you all would be um, coming together. It's a very passionate, uh, 
fiery energy. It's a magnetic energy. It's one where there's almost this with the sorceress and the moon and the king and queen of wands. I'm getting there's a connection, right? So even when you've been apart, I feel like y'all still like you could. I'm getting like you could still see what was going on. It's like in each other's lot, like you were connected. Maybe you were even still cut communicating but more in like a telepathic way in a way that's like people might not understand right you're, you're connected that way and I think that's why the four wands also came out twice here and now I'm almost getting with this three swords and that queen of cups energy I feel like now it is the right time now the energy is coming together for this new beginning this new opportunity I feel like it is um it is the right time I feel like intuitively you know that um, and you've I feel like you've you've also manifested this too um, right you've manifested your partner right but I feel like this also could be somebody from your past I feel like you do know this person I feel like you ha have some kind of connection with this person so maybe you've just known this person 20 30 years even right and you just never maybe you're just always friends or just in the distance or whatever um, this there could even be a long distance energy here too with the with this other energy so we have a lot of fire energy here. We have a lot of water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have a lot of air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there's also earth energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So again, I feel like there is this sort of balanced um, energy here that like makes for a good, a good partnership. And I think, like, you see that. And even though, like, these cards seem like they're falling off the table, I get, I'm getting this energy. This is really interesting here. There's, like, a little eye back here. It's just more, it's like, I'm, I'm getting this watery travel energy. So, again, and, like, this person, I'm almost getting this person coming home to you. This is, again, been in the cards for you. Um, so... I'm going to leave it here. I think this is really cool energy. I really like this a lot. I think there's there's a deep connection here. It's almost spiritual. Um, there's a tie here. It's it's a passionate, creative tie, too. So y'all might have some type of creative energy that maybe now you're finally going to uh, maybe have a business together, have a partnership together. This is really cool. I really like this. There's the Nine of Pentacles here, double four of wands. Um, King and Queen of Wands. I think, you know, this is this is pretty cool energy here. Actually, we have double King and Queen of Wands. So this is just double confirmation of this passionate, fiery, creative energy of like very focused on um, making things work, you know, really focused on being in this together, um, mirroring, there's this mirroring again of each other, right? Of this, um, just working really well together. Um, I'm going to leave it here again. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate you all so much. Have a good one. Bye.